Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS AH64D video, we'll be taking a look at the AI JTAG controlling an AH64D, namely me. He'll be providing a target coordinate, as well as using the IR pointer so I can confirm the target location. First, I'll make sure that I'm on the proper JTAG channel. In this case, it's going to be FM1 on 30FM. I'll bring up the radio interface and I'll contact pointer 11. I'll check in for 30 minutes. Pointer 11, this is 111-8864. Yankee Charlie 7345-3000. Armed with laser hellfire, rockets 300 cannon. Playtime is 0 plus 30. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? At this point, I'll be using the radio interface to talk to the JTAC. Ready to copy. Line is as follows. One, two, three, NA, three thousand feet, MSL, APC, Yankee, Charlie, seven, seven, four, five, zero, six. Mark by infrared pointer, zero, northwest, four thousand five hundred meters, troops in contact, egress, east. Advisement ready for remarks and further talk on. Ready to copy remarks. Use laser hellfire. Partly cloudy sky. Cloud base 8,000 feet. MSL. 3,000. Yankee Charlie 774506. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. 1-1. One, one. IP inbound. One, one, continue. Now, at this point, I have a target coordinate, so I'm going to need to create a waypoint that I could use to slave my sensors to. So, as you may remember from the earlier, earlier video, we'll come down here to point, go to add, waypoint's already selected, ident, in this case, it's a waypoint, so WP, WP, and enter, no free text. So, here's the default coordinate. We're going to Remove the back of that and enter the correct coordinate. Come all the way back to YC. And now we're going to enter 7740 and 5060. And enter. Elevation looks good. And now we can see on the TSD we have waypoint 3, which is the new one we just created. Go to the chord page, waypoints and hazards and select waypoint 3 as our acquisition source. Now we'll hit the slave button. We'll slave the tads to that location. Let's zoom in. Adjust our elevation. We can see a couple targets down there. Let's go ahead and deslave. And let's go back to the uh, night video. Let's don our NVGs by pressing right shift and H at the same time. And I'll contact pointer 1-1 again now. And we'll ask them to sparkle, or in other words, uh, fire the IR pointer that we can only see through the MVGs and not the TADs. 1-1, one, one. sparkle. Sparkle. So we can come back. We can ask them to do a snake, move it one, around. 1-1, one. snake. And you do this, it was difficult. Snake for you to find that IR pointer. Let's go back to steady. One, one, steady. And as you can see, we see the IR pointer and also the steady. TADs all looking at the end of that runway. So let's take off the uh, NVGs. Let's go back to the TADs and engage this target. So laser on. And rifle. Put 
five seconds. One, one, target destroyed. One, one, this is pointer. One, one, type two in effect. Advise and ready for nine line. And thank you for watching this video on using the JTAC with the AH-64D.